don't forget to keep checking out the links down in the description to help out any of the vulnerable communities listed down below. And please make sure that if you're going attending the protests uh, for Tyree Nichols and for Cop City to stay safe, listen to the members of the black community on how to protest properly, and don't be an idiot, especially if you look like me. Hello friendsies, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another episode of Knott's Berry. I'll keep this one short and sweet so this intro isn't the longest thing in the world because this is already the longest episode in the world. If anybody has any idea how to make Knott's Berry episodes shorter, please let me know. Enjoy the chaos that is a Knott's Berry episode four. All right, frenzies. Hello, hello. Welcome to, is it episode four already? Episode four of the Knott's Berry challenge. I am just over here doing some skills. It's Saturday morning and I want to do the weekend, like... Uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday of dates because on the Floralia save file, summer vacation is next week, so we don't have to go into work if we don't want to. So I'm thinking Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we do a date a day. Uh, and I'm just skilling up, getting her skilled up and getting her breakthroughs ready for whenever we're going to go to work next. So she's had eight breakthroughs for level four of the scientist career, and we've had our eighth breakthrough for snake oil oil serum i can't speak we've had our seventh breakthrough for the satellite dish and we are at logic level eight and i'm just trying to get her to oh that's already loaded i'm trying to get her to mischief level eight. Oh, cora's calling a uh, quick question alika i don't know how to pronounce that last name so i'm so sorry uh ka ka man manui and I are planning to spend some casual friend time together. I think you should go for that, Cora. I'm going to wait to take Cora out until Saturday or till today, Saturday. I think Cora and I are going to go out on Monday. We're just working on mischief level eight. I think I'm going to get her. Oh, saucy neighbors from spying on the neighbors. Oh, my. That was unexpected. Who can you see from here? Your view is. That's your view. Unless you have some super like. Unless you've done something new with this, this, uh, not satellite, what is it called? Telescope that you can see, like, through the rocks, over the hills, far beyond. Because I don't know what's so saucy. Is it the birds? <laughs> I think... I can't resist. I think the first date is going to be, uh, Mr. Christopher Bang, who is still a dishwasher at Make a Dish. Then we will go on a date with Miko, uh, Miko Ojo, and then, where is she? Then we will go on a date with Cora, and we'll do, like I said, we'll do each day romantic interest. Oh, that's right, they flirted a little bit last episode. I forgot about that. Stale surroundings, because you haven't bought anything in a while. Calm down. Just trying to get her skills up. It's still really early. It's still 11 a.m. on a Saturday, so I think I'm going to try to do, like, cute afternoon dates. Don't know where we're going to go. Going to figure it out as we go along. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to do this weekend. Just little household chores and, okay, I thought that was broken. Little household, like, chores, little, uh, like, Sims upkeep. Oh, I guess she's done with the telescope. And dating. How many more elements do we need? We need four. It's a green line, a red line, an orange line, and a purple white line. If anybody knows what those elements are, please let me know. I got everything out of the mailbox. All right, hold on. This one, I think this is the green one. This Xeno Pritrium, I think this is going to be the green one, but still won't let me put it in. All right, nothing new. Well, it's it's basically 3 p.m. and we're not quite there on Mischief. What what percent are we? We're only at 65% to the next uh, Mischief level, but she wants to schedule a date and she's feeling very flirty from the apparently saucy neighbors. So I think... We are going to go travel somewhere with Mr. Christopher Bang. It's like a nice hot day. Yeah, it's partly cloudy, nice and hot. So I think I know exactly where I want to go. We're going to invite Mr. Christopher Bang out. I need to stop saying his name because I'm so embarrassed and then I continuously say his name. I have an idea of where I want to go because it's one of my favorite places to go with my Sims. And actually in... <laughs> One of my, like, personal games that I play on my own time, it's actually where my Sims, my Sims self and her partner got married. So, I think it'll be a cute place to go. <laughs> okay, so we are here at the Bluffs uh, with, with Heather Mulberry and this guy. Now, these, these aren't in, like, the actual Sims game, like, actual dates. I'm calling them dates. 
because she hasn't flirted with them and she doesn't have enough romance with anybody that we're going out with to be actual dates. Oh, they put swings here. How cute. Um, but I'm, I'm calling them dates because I think it's fun and adorable. And I love the bluffs. I think we should go swing together. Cute. They're going to swing and we're going to get to, we're going to get to know each other. I'm going to try to do everything the same with all of these dates because I want everybody to have like a fair chance for her then to choose from. I know who I want to be the next not so berry partner, but that is besides the point. Oh, we only need to know one more of his traits. We know he's good and a music lover and we know his career, unfortunately. I still need to go change that. Oh my god, it looks like, look at this. Oh god, they got up really aggressively. I wasn't anticipating that. Like, look at- look where they're hanging out. Don't mind the swings in the way, but like, look how beautiful this is. I love this place. When I play and I get Sims married here, I always set up the arch like right here so they can look over the water and everything. Oh, he's an overachiever. That's cute. I specifically gave him that trait, but I forgot about it. And look at this cute outfit. I don't know why you're standing over him and talking to him, but- And she's gonna go- watch a flock of birds. No, 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 no. We're, we're flirting with a boy. <laughs> There's a lot we can do here. Let's ask about personality turn-ons, because I mean, we are here for a reason, right? Let's brighten his day. Let's brag about our possessions, because we are very materialistic. I'm very materialistic, IRL. I love things. Minimalism is for hot, rich people. I'm poor. Having things is who I am. That is not an original Heather quote. That is a TikTok quote. If anybody knows the creator, please tag, tag them down in the comments. Oh my god, we became good friends! Ooh, 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 ooh. My personality turn-ons are formal and casual. Two very, two very different things. Parent material, bad bay vibes, wealthy and sensitive. <laughs> I don't... And he's like laughing, nodding along, like he's having the best time. I don't know. The sentiment gained, you're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you. Oh my god, and he hugged me. This is really cute. Uh... Let's just, let's just keep talking. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to build, like, the friendship and everything first before I flirt, but I also feel like I'm allowed to flirt because we did flirt with Cora. But I'm also, like, kind of embarrassed. Let's theorize about aliens. What do you think about aliens? I think they're real, and I think they're fucking cool. Do you not like 6am? Is that what that little thing was? Too bad, you're gonna like 6am, because I like space. You've got to be kidding me. Is it cheating to go to the romance festival with him? <laughs> um, you know what? Hold on. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. 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 Listen, listen, listen. I know who I want to be Sim Heather's partner. I feel like I need to give Miko and Korra a fighting chance and it needs, you know what I mean? I feel like I need to have a selection because I feel like going for the specific sim is like, I don't, too much, I guess, but I did put him specifically in the game so that this is, this would be the result. Listen, 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 listen. We're going to go to the romance festival and I'm going to invite, yeah, you're, you're here. I'm going to invite the, the girlies as well. Invite to hang out at Kurt Lot. Um, I'm gonna give everybody a fighting chance, okay? Also, while I'm while I'm here, really, really quick, really quick, really quick, like just super quick. I'm going to clog the drain. <laughs> so maybe instead of a weekend of dates, we just go full battle battle royale. Although he's over here talking to some girlies that I'm not fully happy with. Where is everybody else? Where are you guys? Where are you guys? Where are you guys? Did you guys already pour? I have all three of them in my sights. Did we drink the soccer tea? I need to get to know whose who's traits do I not know fully. I know all of Korra's. I think Miko's traits are the ones I don't know fully. So she's good, a geek, and something else. I don't like that you're walking around. I know I'm- oh, she's neat. Vlad, just come to the romance festival with us. I don't understand. Did you not drink your, your soccer tea, Heather? Everybody drinks soccer tea. Vlad is here apparently as well. Yes, here we go. Here we go.
Okay. This is, I feel like this is going to get super chaotic and like really ridiculous. There's Vlad. I'll say hi to Vlad quickly while we're also, I'll be like, oh my God, dude, the tea effects here going nuts. I'm going to ask for your romantic advice. I'm going to be like, listen, bestie, I'm here with three separate people and my best friend. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Give me romantic advice. Should I look at look at him giving me the side eye? He's like, I don't know. I think this dude's pretty handsome. Oh, there's a lot of vampires here. They're all puffing in and out. Ooh. <gasps> Wait! Whoa, 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 whoa! Look at the cup. <gasps> there's a little flower in the cup. That's so cool. Festival soccer tea. That's cute. Is that like a new? Oh, Miko's coming over. She's like, oh, what's the what's the the love reading? To love or not to love? That is the question. That's not. I'm gonna ask you about your rom my romantic destiny, then, because I'm annoyed. What's my romantic destiny, bestie? Tell me, tell me. Kissing, excellent. <laughs> So remember last episode, oh, I said we'll go on three dates and then maybe with the summer vacation that we have, we'll, we'll speed run a relationship. I think perhaps we'll be speed running the relationship. Vibrations show a tall, dark stranger in your near future. So that could apply to Cora because of her dark hair, but it could also apply to this one because his hair is dyed blonde. Not... <laughs> And look, he's got, like, he's got the cool tattoos, and Miko thinks I'm so funny because I made, like, a little love day toast. I did throw petals on him, and he kind he liked it, so, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gossip about the tea effects. I think maybe I should, I think perhaps I've made my decision. I think I'm going to disband the group and add you to the group, and maybe we just, she's sipping on that tea. Um, I'm just gonna casually ask about your life, love, and then Cora, love, love, life, nah, 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 nah. Hey, Cora, I'm just gonna make a little. Oh, how am I combating a cold? <gasps> Hello? Cora? C Cora, Cora, I need to do this quickly with you. I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh. Oh, it's going to be a little awkward. I am trying to be the good person here and ask to just be friends, but um, he wants to embrace. So, um, botanic. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What does that say? Oh my God. I'm getting notifications about dogs. I don't want the notifications about dogs being adopted. Um, feeling flirty from botanic fragrance. The lovely scent of cherry blossoms really gets someone in the mood. The drink was really cute and romantic destiny. Oh, it's a good thing. Speaking with the romance guru, the romance guru has informed Heather that her romantic destiny is bright and happy. Yo, I didn't see that earlier. Cora is, he's very, he's flirty. She's flirty. Oh no, the little, okay, hold on. The little thing went away. Cora, listen, we had our flirts, but. Oh, she, oh, she's embarrassed. I feel bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cora. But then immediately after, I'm going to talk to him in front of you and Miko. Poor Miko. I'm sorry, Miko. I did not give you a fighting chance. The romance guru really is standing here talking to us. And I am going to give him relationship advice and be like, hey, the relationship advice is maybe you should date me. I think it's so funny that the day I decide to do the dates, the romance festival happens. I f like... I feel like it's so random. Oh, can you guys not sit together on that one? Sit together on this one. Are you sick? What is this? Because you had like combating a cold or whatever. I don't know what's wrong with her. Anyway, I think it's, oh, look at her looking at him. Oh my goodness. I think the game said, Heather, we all know how this is going to work. Where are you going? I, yeah, come back. I have things to say. Cora, Cora, honey, I'm sorry. I'm going to make a joke about space woohoos, but, um, Hey, have you ever thought about being a vegetarian? <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel really bad because Cora looked so sad. Ooh. I can... Lady, can you... Carly, Carly Key, can you go away? 
I don't, oh my god, I don't like when sims do that. I'm gonna reveal a deep secret. And the deep secret is gonna be, hey, I think, oh my god, joke about getting together. <gasps> I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna, <laughs> my deep secret is gonna be, hey, I think maybe... I have a little bit of a crush on you and then like a joke about it and be like wouldn't that be like I don't know what would you do if I did have a crush on you and then we're gonna talk about the festival vibes and ask about their romantic interests and now we're just gonna start putting in we're not gonna mention the flirty dream um did I ask if he's single he is single that's good to know compliment his appearance Oh, you guys can sit here. Why didn't you not sit here to begin with? Compliment his appearance, because he's a very handsome man. Um, tell him that, yes, you are, in fact, attracted to him. <gasps> She's... I don't know what's wrong with her. Throughout the conversation, Heather got the impression that Christopher finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she has the right idea. Oh my god, The Sims 4 really is Dream Life Simulator. Where are you going? I wasn't done talking to you! Where'd it go? Confess attraction. I kind of, I made a joke that, and I was like, oh, I think I might, like, be into you. Haha, <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if I had a crush on you? And now she's like, no, but actually I have a crush on you. Please don't walk away from me again when I'm trying to have this conversation with you. And then what we're going to do is, I know we already said in the second episode where she, like, went to his house at midnight that she already had his number to be like, yeah, don't worry, like, I got home safe. But maybe now they're like, she's like, you can text me whenever. And then I'm gonna blow a kiss. Oh, she had one all set. I'm gonna I'm gonna blow him a kiss. And then we'll do a couple more friendly interactions. <laughs> I'm like getting blushy, just like <laughs> sitting here playing this. The Sims really is Dream Life Simulator. I'm telling you. Oh, and he has the hero personality archetype. I know this is Sims, but why is hero and what was the other one? artistic yeah that sounds like him obviously from the few things i know about him because he's an idol and i am a single person all right bye like thank you so much for like hanging out with us tonight and now he's we're having a deep conversation and apparently it's about death what happened what am i why am i asking him what happened what happened and now we have a new sentiment together and now they won't stop talking to each other okay and here we are bright and early the next morning she's got problems she got stung by bee oh it's hot oh i'm overheating too and i shouldn't have seen that from spying on my rock neighbors oh nice level up mischief 10 or 10 god i wish it was level 10 um i need to perform voodoo five times so the humor and hijinks festival would actually be super helpful I need to clog another drain somewhere. Okay. Well, I'm happy with the skill level right now. And it's a little early still. But I think perhaps... Should we should we wait until he asks us, us on a date? Well, Cora just called us and told us she didn't end up going on a date with somebody that I forgot that she asked me if she should go on a date with them. And I'm pretty sure I said no because I think it was right before I started recording and I was worried about doing the weekend of dates. Uh, but now I feel bad because I asked Cora if we could just be friends. Uh, no, thank you, Vlad. I do not want to go to the flea market today. I'm not really in the mood. I think maybe today can be like a skill day. Um, because like I said, this week, oh God, it's very glowy. This week is summer break. So we have days off at work, but my birthday is next week. And I'm thinking about maybe cheating her age because she'll already be an adult. And I feel like her young adult life really flew by, but I feel like her birthday is really creeping up. So I might cheat the ages because we don't even, we're not even close to second gen yet. And we need Heather for a while. So I was going to say maybe we can go into work some of these days, but I think I am going to speed run relationship with, with Boyo. So I think maybe by like noon. No, we'll say, we'll say by two because that happened. That's what happened yesterday. By like two or three o'clock, if he has not called to ask us on a date, because usually they call like right away, I will call 
and we'll go on dates. And I think we'll go back to the bluffs because we didn't really get to, we didn't spend too much time at the bluffs and I want to because I think it's cute. You know what would be cute? God, don't light anything on fire, but maybe like make something. So then if you guys do end up going out, you have it. Let's make some girl fruit. Yeah, I love, I love that I was like, yeah, we'll go on three dates with three different people and then we'll decide. And immediately the game was like, no, you added him for a reason. Oh, cooking level two. That's good. You added him to your game for a reason. You weirdo. <laughs> go out with him. <laughs> Sims 4, not so very legacy speedrun challenge. Who is in my house? What? Are you absolutely joking me right now why are you in my house i don't think i gave you a residence key what makes you think you can just walk in he's like St where did i what hello where am i oh i'm right there <laughs> he's just um hi we can't be best friends and i'm going to delete the rejection thing because that's to me that's stupid but we're not going to be best friends because Vlad's my best friend. Um, hi, by the way. Yeah, now he's going to act sad because we, uh, I'm not his best friend. Vlad is my best friend. Sure, I like fitness. Oh, okay, we're just hanging out in our swimsuits, I guess. I guess this is a decision that was made today. I don't know why I think that I have any control over this game because I don't. Just because you're the sim, um, uh, player doesn't always mean you're the sim god. We like to think that we're the sim god, but I don't think we are. Because uh, nothing nothing about this entire not so berry has gone according to plans for me. Compliment a swimsuit. Be like, oh, that, I like that your swimsuit's like almost minty. It's not quite minty, but I, I like it. Like, I, like the sim god might have possibly dressed you to look a little bit minty. I don't know why I thought I was going to date any other person except for the sim that I added. This is, I, uh, I made choices. I'm going to express my passion for romance. Oh, God. Why don't I ask you on a date? And where is the grilled fruit that I put away? I'll bring food for a picnic. And why don't we go, I'll be like, why don't we go back to the bluffs? We didn't really get to spend any time at the bluffs yesterday before we got interested in the romance festival <laughs> you know what we're gonna do with the bluffs we're probably gonna swim like we've been doing here but it's a change of scenery she's happy because she scheduled the date it's a little bit of a change of scenery and like i said i really like the bluffs i like to spend time there so i want to go and actually spend time there we're gonna enthuse about mischief and then i will she wants to share her insecurities so i think we will do that but we're also gonna like what Oh, you don't like, do you not like mischief, honey? I'm sorry. I have to, I'll have to remember to never be mischievous with him. You're not going to level up with mischief while you're with him because he's apparently soft boy and does not like mischief. Let's enthuse about Latin music because he's music boy, even though he's a dishwasher at make a dish, he's still music boy. <laughs> uh, let's, what? What is the problem? Yo, why are they getting negative impact? Is he like, actually, I've decided last night that you were probably crazy. Um, which, genuinely fair enough. This is, I feel like this is weird, but this is also really cute because I'm also looking at this as like just the Sims, not what exactly I have done. <laughs> and I think that's the perfect way to describe it. What I have done. He doesn't know that I know this hack. I know how to make our friendship at 100%. Oh, you can't really see it, but like with the pretty... Oh, look at the... Can you guys see the boats over here? How cute. Okay. Um, let's... How do I randomize the poses again? Uh, switch orientation. Oh, that's, that's how it... <gasps> the fact that that is the second pose... I hit randomize once, and that is the pose that they came up with. Her neck. Oh my god, do you see this? Her neck is doing some crazy shit. But let's, um, look at them both with their dyed hair and the dark eyebrows. I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay. They keep going for the romance ones. They keep doing it all on their own. Okay, I'll take this one too. It wants us to kiss our date, so I think I do really need to <laughs> finish flirting. Finish flirting with him. 
um, compliment appearance, will confess attraction again, just be like, hey, listen, I do really, like, if you haven't caught on yet, I do really find you attractive. I'm going to hold your hands, and then I'm going to offer you a rose. I don't know what she's doing with apparently being sick, because she keeps getting things acting like she's sick, but she's not. Let's find a spot for, like, the actual first kiss. Everybody's sick. Okay, she's dizzy. It's not COVID. I refuse to believe it's COVID. Oh, that counted as a kiss. Um, not what I wanted. Where's, like, a cute first kiss spot? Probably just, like, right here. Hopefully they don't walk away from it after I put them on. I just want, like, a cute picture of the first kiss. Oh, she's got twirly whirlies. Um, okay. she's She's got the twirlies. That's interesting. Oh my god, okay. Um, um, um. He also acted like he was sick, so I'm not gonna- This is- Okay. I'm not gonna worry too much about the first kiss. I just- Um. <laughs> I just wanna have the first kiss and then maybe I'll send her home. Heather and- Christopher and Heather are both having their- Oh, their very first kiss! That's cute! That's an awful picture. Because she's- Oh, never mind. This is going to be an awful picture because she is very ill and you can see it. And I feel like perhaps, and he's like, look at it, look at him. He's like, um, what? I feel like that's, oh, incredibly accurate to this playthrough. Oh my God. I can't, oh my God. All right, well, we had the first kiss and then... I'm gonna, like, get him sick. I can't <laughs> We're gonna do that to end the date, and then I think maybe we should send her home after we do that, because now he's gonna get sick. <laughs> oh, God. I forgot that they dip. Um, COVID does not exist in The Sims. I refuse to, like, implement real-life elements into this, even though he is uh, proof. Um, anyway. What is that? What's that sentiment? I've never seen that one, the, like, singing one. I mean, we're deeply connected and closer from having memories, and we're adoring, so that's cute. All right, um, I think... Oh, he's... Oh, he's singing. Okay. Oh my god, she needs to go home. Okay. I am ending the date early. We got a legendary date. You need to go home, and we need to get you some medicine, and maybe we will also buy him medicine, um... He's like, yeah, I need to leave. I'm not feeling well. And you don't look good. Like, look at her, please. She's trying to look at the camera or look behind her. Look at her. Her tattoos look awful with this all over her. I can't believe my first kiss picture with him is when she's diseased. I hate this game. We'll get medicine. And if we go out again with him tomorrow... We'll give him medicine as well, because I think he needs it. <laughs> oh my god. Is it like flu season in The Sims, the end of spring, beginning of summer? Actually, that would make sense. Like the first, um, I don't think it's the first day of summer, but it is certainly early summer. We're going to get two medicines. What we're going to do is I'm going to pretend like, ah, oh, man, my thing is down. All right, we'll worry about that in the morning. Or tomorrow. What I'm going to do. Yes, Christopher. Oh my God. Do you want to go on a date? Mama Mia pizza, please. Oh my God. But I'm so sick. Okay. Yeah, we'll go. I did say I was going to speed run it. We'll go on the date and I'll take the medicine and I'll give you your medicine. And then when we get home, I guess then we'll take care of her. I'm going to, even if she takes the medicine and she's quote unquote cured, I am going to take her home and treat her like she's sick. Uh, just because I think she deserves it because that's what I do when I'm sick. Medicated. From taking medicine, the sudden lack of symptoms and potency in the medicine has gives Heather a brief burst of cur curative? Curative energy. Okay. There we go. And he liked it. He let, He was like, oh, thank you so much for thinking of me. Like, that's so nice of you. Let us... I want this table. That's a cute little table. Feels like kind of romantic without being like overly romantic because we're, we're at Mamma Mia's Pizza. We're just going in circles over here. Or Mamma Mia's Pizza, so it doesn't feel overly romantic, which is totally fine. Because I think the Bluffs was, like, a rather romantic venue, if you ask me. Which you didn't, but it's my video, so you're watching it. I'm gonna ask him about his love life, be like, so? 
since we're hanging out. <laughs> How's your love life now? Remember when I asked you two days ago? I'm gonna, and I'll give him relationship advice again, and I'll be like, hey, um, I have some advice. It's me. <laughs> Keep seeing me. <laughs> oh my god, this is, I feel so silly doing this, but I can't help it. Is our food almost ready? <gasps> yes! He actually has our food. I feel like we're not doing bad. What he asked us out at like seven. So again, for, for dining out in Sims. Oh my god, they're so cute. They did that in sync. Oh, interesting thought bubble, my friend. He said, romantic spot, I'm there. I said, I'll get there in a minute. <laughs> I know where you going. <laughs> I was going to say, I run for no man. <laughs> but then he started running away. <laughs> I'm doing this. It's our second and a half date. And in Sims, that's yes. basically, uh, you should be pregnant by now, you know? Oh my God. Yes. Just became the boyfriend of Heather. Amazing. I'm going to, oh my god, propose. Jesus Christ. Where is, where's just the, oh, we can embrace. Okay, I don't think I've done embrace yet. I just want the, the kiss, just the regular kiss option. Because I think that would be a nice way to actually end the date. Because the date was not over until I said it was over. There it is, kiss. Like, how lovely is this? Oh, great time to turn the camera, I guess. New skill day successful. Please don't die as you do that. It's two in the morning. I was going to say, since we've been on two and a half dates at this point, do we go to work tomorrow? Maybe we'll take an additional day and then we'll go to work Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday. I could have just said Tuesday to Friday. Maybe we'll also just have Monday only because it's 2 a.m. Um, and even though I play with cheats and don't have to take care of her needs, I feel like that's kind of mean to like have her come home from 2 a.m. from a really nice date and then have to go to work. What day is it now? Oh, it's summer break. What is it? It wants us to go on vacation or travel. Maybe we'll go on another date today. <laughs> I can't resist. I love when this randomly pops up. Jealous lesson. Heather is a jealous sim. Jealous sims gain boost. Gain a boost of confidence when their significant other near when near their significant other, but can also get uncomfortable when they're not around them. So are you uncomfortable that you're not around them or is he walking by? I don't see him. Feeling insecure from jealous trait. If your significant other isn't around, how can you know what they're doing or who they're doing it with? Okay, that that that's where it gets a little bit toxic and you need to like have very open communication with your partner and know that they're willing to have that communication with you. Oh my God, she only has nine days until she ages up. We got to get married by the end of the week, bro, because we got to be having babies. Like for real. I have, I think my pregnancy in... With MC Command Center, I sent to five days, so we have four days. Like, three and a half, four days to get married and get pregnant with Rose Jen. And then I think when she does age up into adult, I'm going to have to play with the age a little bit. I might have to, you know what? Okay, yeah, that's way too long. Um, I feel like it's going to come back to bite me in the ass at some point, but... I feel like right now we need to do it, because we're nowhere near where we need to be for a lot <gasps> the humor and hijinks festivals tonight oh my god we can get the voodoo doll exciting very exciting humor and hijinks festival travel to the humor and hijinks festival i can't invite anybody so i like from my house so i'm just gonna wait oh the bees i'm gonna wait until i get there and then we're gonna invite our friends and we'll have like a nice little friend day and it'll be so cute and we'll get the voodoo doll i'm going to win it has to be, I think it has to be the prankster. So I'll prank other people. I won't prank the friend group because Christopher does not like mischief. He's soft boy. And I don't know if the girlies are going to like mischief. So we will prank other people. We'll be part of the pranksters. And pranksters versus jokesters challenge has begun. Um, Vlad's already here. That's amazing. Let me invite to hang out at current lot. Let me invite the girlies out. And then we'll form the group. Does this drink have anything cool in it? It looks like maybe flowers at the bottom. I can't really tell. Oh my god. Hi besties. How's everyone doing? Vlad, I swear to god. Pranksters are in the lead by four. When does it end? When does the... I'm like looking all over the place because I don't 
where's the festival info? It ends at 11. So we have an hour to stay in the lead. Did you clog it? Okay, repair it immediately. We're not... Yeah, no, we're not doing this. I only am doing it because I need to clog three drains. But we're not doing this at a museum. I will never let you leave that undone. And we're going to mop up the puddle because I would... Brittany Cho is freaking out. I would never let somebody do that at a museum. I would throw hands. <gasps> Pranksters win. All pranksters have received a voodoo doll fireworks and $500. The festival ends in one hour. Oh my god, hurry up and finish with the drain. She woke up feeling insecure and she got the don't miss significant other for six hours. Heather is strong and can go a few hours without missing her significant other, right? Right? Avoid getting the missing significant other mood lit by staying near your significant other all day. So maybe today... What are you doing? Okay. Little scientist brain. Um, maybe today we should go on another date. I was going to send her to work today to work on, obviously, the career. But maybe today she just is, like, really missing him. She didn't spend a whole day with him. I think. Yeah, she got home about at 1 a.m. So maybe she didn't spend an actual whole day with him. And for her, you know, you know that's a lot. Okay, so I did have to cheat and use MC Command Center to teleport Aiden here because I tried to I'm gonna bind the voodoo doll to this motherfucker I tried to have him like come over and he he wouldn't he wouldn't come over he's like I really would rather not which like not fair enough because I hate him and he fist fought me in my own home but also like kind of fair enough I get it so I had to cheat and teleport him here uh, so I can tie the voodoo doll to him and make his life unhappy where are you going Guess what? You're... <gasps> Why can I not... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay right there. What? What happened? Did the voodoo doll not work? Bind it! Girly, what are you doing? Bind it to him. I don't want to have to bind it to Bianca Flex. I don't want to play with demons that much. What are you doing? Where did you put it? Bind the voodoo doll. I love the little animation they get for it. Why is it not working? Are you also a demon, Aiden? Where did he go? Okay, you know what? Fine. There she is. There's the other demon. Fine, too. Bianca Flex. I know you don't like me, but you don't really get a choice right now. <gasps> oh. Summoning somebody counts as using the voodoo doll. Did you guys know that? Do voodoo. I am going to poke it. There she is. <gasps> and I'm no 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 no. Don't go away. Don't go away. Don't go away. I'm also gonna soak it. <gasps> oh. That makes so much sense that it's tied to Bianca and it's attacking me back. That makes so much sense. Oh god, it has a needle and everything. Can I do one more before she goes off the lot and then I'll summon her and then send her away again? Um, oh god, can I... Can, I'm gonna tickle it. It counted, and then summon Bianca. Come on. she I like how she does a little, like, coochie coo. Okay, we did it. We did it five times, and then you can immediately leave. I don't want you here. Um, please go away. Please go away. Uh, should I fight her? <gasps> what is this? Voodoo backfire from being voodooed. The power of karma compels you to repeat, reap what you sow. Can I... Can I fight her? I kind of want to fight her. Can I fight her? I fought Aiden. I keep wanting to call him Marcus Flex. No, that's probably who you're married to. Um, I want to see if I can win. She is a demon that did control the voodoo doll against me. But I think I can win this. I'm going to fight this demon and I am going to win. Like, power of Christ compels you and all that stuff. Not for me personally, but I think I think Sim Heather could handle it. <gasps> she beat me beaten up from fight taking a good looking can make a sim feel a bit dazed okay that's fair enough she is a demon um 
grudge after a fight. Cool. Should I get rid of this voodoo doll now? It's worth so much money. Okay, you can you can go away now. Um, you know what should happen? Because I'm so sad that I just lost that fight. I think perhaps I should. I think we're gonna go on a date with uh with Chris because she's missing. She just lost a fight, so she needs comfort. She needs to be like, babe, the demons came for me. Asterix, I summoned them first. Why don't we go to- you know what? I want to go to Copperdale and I want to go to the, um, this place. We're gonna go to Copperdale and we'll do, like, the little amusement park. But she'll be like, babe, even though I- I summoned the demons, uh, the demons came for me and I lost. And also, I really miss you because it's been two whole days since I last saw you, and that makes me sad. Um, oh, it's a, it is a heat wave. Okay. Well, we're in this cute little park, but I want to go to, like, the amusement park, like, the, the fair. So where is that? Okay, boardwalk. This is cute, question mark? Let's go, oh, let's do the fo- Oh, hello. Um, let's take romantic pictures. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, I messed up. First, we need to do this. Because for some reason, it wouldn't let me actively invite him out on a date. So we're going to ask him on a date before we do any of the activities. Let's go take a cute romantic photo in the photo booth. I think that'll be adorable. I haven't, like I said, I haven't played with high school uh, years. I haven't played with this pack at all. I bought it specifically because I wanted the furniture. Oh, cute. Did they actually get little photos? Oh my god. Wait, that's actually really cute. I don't... I haven't done any of, the, like, the actual date stuff. God, not the Ferris wheel. I'm scared of the Ferris wheel. Let's go on the Tunnel of Love because I... We're not doing that yet, okay? When that happens, it is going to be not on screen, I think. Let's go on the Tunnel of Love ride. I think that'll be cute. And then we will do some of, like... Oh, we're already socializing with our date, so that's good. But we'll do, like... Oh, okay. <laughs> Gotta zoom all the way up. I wish this wasn't a rabbit hole. I wish you could get, like, some kind of something. I just- maybe I wish it was, like, slightly more like The Sims 3. Oh, whoa! Corny jail! Oh no. Heather wanted to make the per perfect romantic atmosphere and thought the cuddle carts would be the best way. What she wasn't expecting was just how cheesy the ride would be, which isn't exactly the vibe she was going for. She looks at Christopher and tries to gauge his reaction. She can't tell if he's- into the corny atmosphere or not. Does Heather poke fun at the ride and add some flirty banter to try to make the moment a, or try to make the huh and try to make the moment a little more romantic or does she embrace the cheese and attempt to show Christopher a slice of playfulness? Um, I'm going to lean into the atmosphere. What does that say? It's cheesy, sure, but it's adorable and Heather can see that Christopher is enjoying the ride. That's enough to encourage Heather to go all in. The rest of the ride, Heather puts on the performance of a lifetime in perfect sync with the ride's over-the-top exhibits. Christopher wipes tears from his eyes from laughter and loves that Heather is playing along with the classic ride. This playful side of Heather couldn't be more attractive to Christopher. The sound of giggles from the cuddle cart put the rest of the ride's lovey-dovey displays to shame. Gained romance between riders. That's actually the cutest thing I've ever heard in my life. So this is, is this supposed to be like a fair or is it just like a boardwalk thing? Because my dream date, uh, like future reference for anybody watching, um, my dream like first date, which I've never actually been on, is going to like a, like a, like a town fair, like a seasonal fair. I don't like to go on any of the rides because they scare me. They're definitely not, I mean, I'm sure they're up to safety code, but they're, they definitely like, where are we? Oh, we're in the back. Are we in the back? Are we still in? Are we still inside? Okay, we're coming out now. Um, I'm sure they're up to code. Like, I, I'm i sure they are in some way, shape, or form. But the rides scare me, and, like, the games are definitely rigged, so I don't really play any of the games either. But I love just the atmosphere and the aesthetic of, like, country fairs. So... It's, like, my dream first date, and, like, somebody wins you one of, like, those cheap, like stuffed animals that like you have to pay uh, they're not cheap because you end up paying like fifty dollars to play the game that's definitely rigged for you to lose but 
I just, I don't know. I, I love it. And I think this is super cute because it feels like going to a little fair. I think it's specifically supposed to be a boardwalk, which does have like different vibes than a fair. It is like a bit different. What? Did I, what did I do? Like ask you about your day and you weren't a fan of that? Jeez. Cameron Fletcher is suffering in the heat, but I, I think it's the cutest thing perfectly aged from leaning into the atmosphere the atmosphere of cheese for the perfect amount of cuddling oh my god that's cute um yeah i i just i love fairs and I, they're like my dream first date and i've never actually been to a fair for a first date i went bowling and went to an arcade and that was fire like that was the best date i had i have gone on to date was bowling in an arcade but dream first date would definitely be going to a fair we're already in gold territory, so let's go on. Let's go on this ride. God, woo, imagine woohooing in the haunted house. Actually, I don't know if you guys have seen my videos about my Sims 3 family, but that is a very Sims 3 Heather vibe. Her and Bella, um, her and Bella Bachelor, got married in the beginning of like the fall festival in front of the haunted house and conceived their child on Spooky Day. That's why we named the child Salem, and he looked like Atreus from God of War, and it was wild. If you haven't seen those videos, I will put up the card, actually. Those are really cute videos. It's very Sims 3 Heather vibes. Does this feel like... What? Fight or flight? Oh, I thought the options were fight or fight, and I was like, Heather, Heather can fight. Heather doesn't want to admit it, but she's a little nervous as she sits down in the minecart. Each little sound of movement has her jumping out of her seat. When something suddenly jumps out next to Christopher, adrenaline and instant kick, adrenaline and instant inst instinct kick in. Fight or flight. Now, the Haunted Mansion is my favorite ride at Disney World, and if I ever get to go to Disney World again, I plan on riding it like six times in a day. Uh, but also, Sim Heather has fought. Two separate people, so I'm gonna fight. Heather closes her eyes and instinctively goes into fight mode. She throws a haphazard punch in the darkness. Her hand makes contact with a crack and she lets out a shout of triumph for protecting her fellow rider. Heather hears Christopher groan and reel back in pain. Heather apologizes profusely, but the damage is done. She finishes the ride in an embarrassed silence, feeling guilty for the accidental and strangely accurate punch. Oh no, we lost friendship! Missed the mark! From fight, Heather's fight instinct shows no mercy. How bad did our friendship go down? Uh, let me see. Oh, not bad. Okay, okay, we can salvage it. Maybe I'll... I have to I have to be, like, extra sweet to him now because I accidentally punched him in the face. Um, imagine accidentally doing that. I'm gonna... I'm gonna embrace you and she'll... Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's an option to, like, kiss cheek. She'll be like, oh, I'll, I'll kiss it better. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry for accidentally punching you in the face. I'm so sorry. He's like, like, I get that it was accidental. It hurt, but like, ouch. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'll do some little friendship things and then we'll see what else there is to do here. I'll have her express admiration and be like, hey, um, you took that punch like a champ. And he'd be, he's gonna be like, yeah, uh, since when do you have such a good right hook? And she's like, oh, duh, um... I fight demons. Remember how I told you that I, I played with demons and they won? Uh, the demons got hands, but so do I. <laughs> um, I want to go on the Ferris wheel, I think, and then maybe we'll go, we'll travel somewhere and get food for, like, we'll, like, just go as a group or maybe a second date in the same day. Well, why don't we do that? Like, extend the date. Let's go. You want to go on the Ferris wheel? I would never get on a Ferris wheel. I am terrified of heights and I am terrified of things like shaking under my feet. I think the heat wave part of it is cute that we're at the bar boardwalk. Oh no. The ride seems to be going well, but Heather can tell that Christopher has something on his mind. Does she ask what's wrong and hopefully help out the brooding Christopher? Or does she tell a story to attempt to distract him? Let's distract him because he might be like scared of heights, just like this would be me. Again, I would never go on a Ferris wheel, but if I ever went on, I would hope somebody maybe distracts me. Heather can tell that Christopher doesn't feel like opening up right now. So a distraction... It is. She begins to tell the story of two childhood sweethearts that carved their initials on the top of a rock near Copperdale High. No one knows who the couple is, but they say every now and again students will find a romantic picnic. Left beside the romantic rock, Christopher smiles at the sweet story of the litter lingering, littering lovebirds and the heavy atmosphere in the carriage lifts. Oh, that's cute. She distracted him with like a cute story. And of course it was a romantic story because why wouldn't it be? 
let's take a funny photo with him and then we will go I'll end the date and then we'll travel together and go get food because I think that'll be a cute way to end the date because then they basically spent the whole day together. And then maybe we'll propose on the next date. <laughs> we are going to go back to my house. Not for what you all may be thinking. And if you are thinking that, put it away. What? What happened? Why do you two? I can't. I cannot look away from her. <gasps> do not light anything on fire. I swear to God. Not in front of your boyfriend. <laughs> He doesn't know, he doesn't need to know that you're an arsonist. I don't think he's ever seen you light anything on fire. He doesn't need to know about it. At least not until he's already, until he's already with you. Why are you thinking about moving? Do you want him to move in with you? Because I had not the move in with you plan, but I had a, I had a different plan. I had a, I had a separate plan, but... Maybe she's already thinking about it. She's like, well, like, I don't know. In Sim, in Sim world, we've already been together for so long. <laughs> there it is. Give Brandon some keys. I want to give him keys. Because in The Sims, we have been going out for almost a week. And we all know in Sims world, at that point, we're basically old maids. She's really, she's really vibing. They can't stop bopping long enough to... I'm gonna give him a key because he's boyfriend. Oh, I guess we're dancing in this position. <laughs> Mans is breaking it down behind me. <laughs> I gotta hold on. Pause, 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 pause. <laughs> Do that again so I can take a picture. Oh, okay. He's done. <laughs> I guess that's that. Did he really leave? Is he out of my group already? Oh, no, he's not out of my group, but he's ready to leave, so I guess that's fine. Oh my god, I didn't clean the lint tray. I- I swear to god, it's a fire in episode. I- Oh my god, oh my god, I just had a heart attack. Because she just- she just got the- the looming- the looming dr Can we- can we extinguish this? Can we extinguish this? Is this a real fire? Oh my god. She got the looming dread thing because she repaired the- the- she repaired the washer- um, she got the looming dread fear and I got rid of it because I was like, that's stupid. Like, why do you have that fear? Oh my god, it really is a fire in episode. That gave, that genuinely gave me a heart attack. Because again, happened off screen. But she got the... Oh, this, these clothes are already clean. Oh my god. I She got the looming dread of like fear of death or whatever. And then I was like, oh my god, is it from the washer? So I was trying to double check to like make sure I had already saved. And then uh, she, she didn't clean the lint tray. And she, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, you know what? Let's, she already, and she already took a shower for the night because it's 2 a.m. I was like, oh, I'm going to send her to work on Wednesday. Meh, 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 end the episode here. But apparently we cannot end the episode without a fire. I, I say that Claire Siobhan is like my like storytelling icon and that I like, I love all her Sim series. I'm genuinely not trying to emulate her as much as I am. But my game is full chaos and full fire, which is usually how her games end up going. Why are you flirty from looking at yourself in the mirror before you lit yourself on fire again? I hope we didn't... I can't really see into the bathroom because it's tiny. I hope we didn't lose anything in the bathroom. I don't think we did. Oh my god. All right. You know what? After this, go to bed. I can't stand you. I know I say that way too much, but I genuinely cannot stand her. She's an arsonist. Okay, good. You are clean now. Apply lotion and then we're going to bed because, oh my god, oh my god. I like need like a sedative after that. Somebody sedate me. All right, frenzies. I'm going to end the episode here. Can't have an episode with fi without fire and we're making great, great developments on the romance front. Uh, next episode, we will be focusing on career again. We are, I think, level eight in logic and level nine in mischief. So we can probably get the uh, skills and aspiration for mint gen completely done. And 
work on career and maybe next episode we will have a marriage proposal because the way this episode went and how successful those date were dates were well, it was like what three and a half four and a half dates at this point in sim world we basically are already married with five children let's be honest so again i'll leave you here laughing in her sleep she's like i started another fire today despite my overlord's wishes I'll leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. And please let me know down in the comments uh, what you feel about this not so very challenge. What are your thoughts? Do you have any tips or tricks? And yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Bye! Please don't set anything on fire. You haven't lit anything on fire yet this episode, which is like truly a miracle. But you know, the day is young.